What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to be unboxing and reviewing the double pack of Suko and Titanus Doug. And we finally do have an official Doug figure. I know there is supposed to be another figure. Oh, wait a minute, the camera would focus. There we go. There are um, some mini figures. I think there's a mini figure of Titanus Doug out there. So hopefully we might be able to get that one too. But this does come with a rock for Suko to throw at opponents or to play fetch with Doug. Showing you all the front. Side has Godzilla and Kong just like the other packs did. This side just shows us some red or yeah, about reddish pink crystals and just the title of the box right here. On the back, we do get this picture of Suko and Doug, Titanus Doug. I wonder why um, it ain't um, Titanus Suko. I don't know. But in other ways, we have... A, if, the, if I can raise the thing up, we got this little bit of a summary. I think this is the exact same one as on the other packages. Then we got this one right here for Suko and Doug. Now, right here, I'm not I already read this, but I'm going to give you all the, a quick summary. Don't judge this um, Titan by his size. He is a scrapper and also has Kong's back. That is the summary of this says. If you want to read it, you go ahead. But on the bottom here, we got collect them all. The only one I don't have is this one right here. And I probably will not get the heat ray one because it's just the same as what we already gotten. And uh, for Godzilla versus Kong, only difference that I've noticed is just the tail is going up instead of straight out. And other than that, the other ones are just the ones I've got has that added paint on them. Nothing else about that, but I'm all right with that. On the bottom here, if you don't see these in stores, here's the barcode. Just get taken in the store, and um, hopefully they can find you one. And we got our legal Momo Jumbo right here. So let's go on and get typed these two out of their packaging. All right, I got them right out of their cardboard prison. Uh, I do like how these two do look and size together. And as you can see, I went on and put the rock in his hand like he's about to throw it for Doug or throw it at someone. I wanted to at least see if he could hold the rock, and he can. In different poses, but that's the only pose that I went on and did while I got him out of the box. So, first up, we're going to look at this rock. If the camera would focus, this is the rock that you get. And it's not bad on detail. It actually does look like a rock that you would just go outside and pick up. So, I do like that, that they actually did that. Well, to them, it's a rock. To us, this is a boulder. So you got to think of like how large he is and everything. He's picking this up. So that is a boulder. I don't know why they just say a rock when that's actually a boulder. But either way, now we're going to talk about, we're going to save Doug for last for a few reasons. Now we're going to talk about Suko right here. And I don't, I don't mind the coloring they made him brown at when he's meant to be orange but this is close enough I guess they could get to and it does not look bad on the camera right here you can see that it's glossy I don't know why as in person it's not that bad but it does have a gloss but I guess because of the lighting with the camera it's just worse but either way, the face does not have the gloss. And I don't I didn't notice in the trailer, but did he actually have a scar on his eye right here? On his right eye? 
Skins like a pavement color on his face, hands, and feet. Nothing on the back. Nothing on the chest. So I'm. That is something that wasn't shown in the in the trailer. Him having all uh, his chest showing. So I guess in it, when he grows up, he'll have more of like Kongos. But other than that, we're gonna go on and move on to articulation. Head can rotate all the way around. Arms are just like Kongs. They can rotate all the way around. And they can go up and down. And that is on both of them. I mean, elbow joint. Elbow can go up that far. Back that far. And can also rotate. Hand can actually rotate as well. Trying to get on camera showing it. And also, just like Scar King, he does have a spot on his stomach area. But instead of just being up forwards and back and everything, he can actually rotate. I think Scar can rotate, but it's not as like smooth as this. Legs can go up about that far. Back that far. Knee articulation can go back that far and gets, um, stops right here because the legs do have this little point right here on it where it kind of blends in. And also something that none of the other figures have is articulated um, feet or, or um, at the heel can rotate. So this figure is actually all the way posable. Now I wonder why they couldn't have done this like with the feet and everything. I know um Shimu had the, the rotating feet and Godzilla had rotating feet. But like Kong and Scar King, their feet don't rotate. So I wonder why they didn't do that. But if I wonder, can you get him? And I think we can. He can actually be on all fours. So that is kind of interesting. Just he'd be looking down at maybe the some people and everything. Looking down at the ground or just... I think there's a scene I was told that he's going to be... Where these two meet is when he's like fishing. Or doing something it's, it's like some um, water or river area. I'm not sure. That's how these two meet is what... Someone told me, but I, like I ta said in the other videos, I take everything that I'm told with a grain of salt. Now we're going to move him over here with his rock. And we're going to talk about Doug, Titanus Doug. Now, as everyone knows, we have seen this monster before in the Godzilla vs. Kong movie. I am so glad that he's making a return, and hopefully he does have a bigger role than just a cameo. And I think he does since he's with the with um Suko. Now we're gonna talk about well ain't much to talk about in the um, color because he is just uh black, yellow eyes. I don't know how good the camera's picking it up, but yellow eyes and white teeth. And that's about it. On color. Now on articulation, head does have a little bit of a give, but I wouldn't try and force it all the way around because like how the the thick not thickness but how that's shaped right here, it's not going to rotate. But at least you can turn it side to side. Just be very careful if doing that. If you do it, don't grab at the head, grab at the neck, and just turn it a little. Arms can go up. Let's okay. Never mind. They can go all the way around. And that for both of them or just one? Okay, both can do it. Nothing at the wrists or elbows. Legs can go all the way around as well. Nothing there. Tail is on a ball joint. And no, there is no assembling. This one's just a little loose, but it's easy to pop back on. But you can go up, down, side to side, and all the way around. Just because it's in this curvature makes it where you can, it will pop off easy if you go like too far one way. 
as you can see where it's opening up right here that's why it just popped off on me but it's easy to pop in so we got that taken care of now we're going to work on some size comparisons and right here I am going to size them with Kong now I'm not going to move the camera anymore because they it's right here on their height so I'm just going to put him back like where they are if I can get him to stand he was just standing a second ago there we go now Doug doesn't look too bad I think Doug size is pretty good with Kong here now Suko on the other hand let me stand him back up Suko let's find let's see ah uh, Suko does not really stand because if you catch the part in the trailer where he's uh, Kong is surrounded by the other Kongs Suko's over here Suko was like at his waist right about here or so so he is a little bit tall so I think if you can find him in like the next wave of minifigures that does have a Suko and I think that Suko might size well with this if you want it like on the shelf and you want them like size apparently you might want to do that because that would be about a two maybe a three inch figure well this is I think is about four about four inches four or yeah it has to be because of it because this is six inches that would have been two of these stacked on and it's way taller so this is about four inch figure four four and a half inch figure so yeah you would want to call Suko about right here in size if you are looking for size comparison but if you're okay with like it is these will look great beside each other we're going to move Kong out the way and bring in our next ape and that is Scar King. Apparently might be Suko's dad. Hopefully I am saying his name right. Or he's related to Scar King somehow because they're both got that reddish fur. But I think these two work. No, if he's bigger than Kong, then he would have to be about right here at the little bit low, higher up. So... Yeah, that that's if you want right comparison. If not, these look great beside each other. I still wish my Scar King would stand on his own. As you can see right here, his feet are warped for some reason. I guess how they had it in the packaging. I have not yet got that fixed. Gonna move him out the way. And just for the fun of it, I'm just gonna pull Godzilla for um Doug. Now, Doug, if you stand him up on his tail, my, nope, never mind, he only comes up to the shoulder. But these two can look good together on their on the shelf. I did not mean to knock him over. He fell in the crystals. Oh, well, those are just cardboard anyways. Can you sit down? Up, oh, he does sit down. That's pretty good. So, yeah, like I was saying, these two work good together and scale. I think I'm not really too sure we have not seen him in the trailer yet hopefully if we get another trailer or TV spot it does show Titanus Doug doing something gonna get him out the way and yeah I think that is going to be it for the video I hope everybody enjoyed it like share comment and subscribe and I hopefully will see everybody next time